Arizona Democrats have a lot to say about one of the state's Democratic senators, Kirsten Cinema. Senator Cinema was the subject of fire from Martin Luther King Jr.'s family over the weekend, and that continued today at other MLK events. Matt Galka live tonight to explain. Matt. Pressure is building on Senator Cinema from within her own party. Democrats around the state would like her to change her mind on her stance on the Philippines. As people marched through Phoenix, honoring the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr., it was voting rights on the minds of many and an Arizona senator. Senator Cinema. Kirsten Cinema. Senator Cinema. Kirsten Cinema. I think she's beaming. The heat on Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema from fellow Democrats has been turned up since her speech last week. She reiterated opposition to filibuster reform, making the passage of a Voting Rights Act in the Senate an extreme long shot. We must commit to a long-term approach as serious as the problems we seek to solve. Democrat Adrian Fontes, looking to be Arizona's next Secretary of State, wasn't shy about how he felt. Yeah, I think she's being incredibly selfish, playing the middle and playing politics ahead of the rights of all American voters. State Representative Reginald Bolding, also seeking the Secretary of State nomination, says he's hopeful the voting rights legislation can still get passed. I am hopeful that uh, Senator Cinema and then also the 50 other United States Republican senators will step up uh, to join the others to create a federal solution. Democrats see the legislation as an answer to what they call restrictive voting bills passed at the state level, including in Arizona. For State Senator Martin Quezada, he's pushing for someone to oppose cinema when she's up for re-election in 2024. At this point, um, a primary op opponent is really the best way to, uh, to, to change things for Arizona. Now, Senator Cinema's office said she was not available for an interview today, but did refer to her speech on the floor last week, where they said she made clear that she does support voting rights. We're live tonight, Matt Gelka, Fox 10 News.